Out with Chet again. We're going to do some uh, back drills today, uh, straight backs, and I'm going to try to introduce them into some blind retrieves. So what I'll end up doing is I'll get them <clears throat> to stop and stay here, and then I'm going to put a line of dummies out right over this knoll, right where this silver vehicle is. And uh, I'm trying to get him to go further back uh, with each command. I'm not going to put the side dummies out today, uh, just the straight back ones. So I'll call them over. <clears throat> so I'll set one out fairly close to him. And then one just before the, the drop off. One just on the other side, so we can't see it. And then I'll take two more further back. I find this for hunting, this uh, back command is really important. Springers have a tendency to get out 20, 30 yards before they start hunting again. They're not like labs. Uh, labs will go back, they're used to uh, long retrieves. These guys are used to hunting, they're not used to those formal type um, retrieves, but I find with uh, hunting, if you uh, drop a bird and is wounded and it uh, drops quite a f uh, piece away it's really important to try to get the dog to go back as far as he's comfortable with uh, especially if the birds fall on the other side of a river or a creek and you can't get there yourself to drive a springer back is really really tough I find so I'll just set him up here And again, my command for back is just two arms up with the word back. Back! Here, here, here. Here. I'll just send to that dummy again. For him. Just get him to hold it. Make eye contact with me. And good boy, dead. Heel. Heel. Hop. Good boy. Back. Here. Good boy, dead. Heel. Now this will be the one just over the edge. He won't be able to see it. I don't think he saw me throw it there, or at the very least he doesn't remember. So I'll see if I can't drive him over that edge. Back! He'll start to hunt and look shortly, and he's got over the edge. I find with uh, training is that uh, it's really important to, to give them a chance to succeed. And I don't want to put him into situations that he's not trained with um, because then the frustration level for the dog and myself goes up. Here. Here. And he's dropping the dummy. I've just done this in the last couple days. Chat. Here.
here. Here. He's probably getting bored with the drills that I've been doing. Dead, dead, heel, heel. And it's another training thing that's been tough on both of us is to try to get him to heal. I can get him to heal when I cast him for a blind. Hop. But off lead, he's uh, really tough to get to heal. I have to work on that. Back. So that uh, third dummy is likely 50 to 60 yards from me. So if I can get him back to 100 or 150 even on a blind, I'll be good with that. Here. After the other two. He probably knows they're there. He probably saw them. Back. So there's two more over there. After he brings this one back, I'll throw one off to the left or side for a distraction. It might look good that he knows that he's going back, but I'm still doubtful that he actually knows. He just knows that there's a bird there, and that's just the direction it's in. He doesn't know the command yet. And just get him to firm up the grip on that. And try to make eye contact. Hop. Good boy. Dead. Here. Get out. I'll just throw this dummy off to his left and hopefully I can get him to drive him back still instead of that bird. Back! No, and he broke. He knows he's not supposed to go after it. Back. There he goes. Again, I should have had the long lead on him when he broke that time, but I was lucky enough that he knew not to go direct for it because I couldn't have stopped him if he wanted to go, and I couldn't have uh, corrected him that easily. And that's a mistake there. He should be holding on to that. Again, force fetching uh, fixes that problem. Here. walk around him quickly or slowly. Then I'll come in and I'll give him his free throw. 
and you'll see them come alive when I start swinging this. Hey! And that's it. I'll make another video in a few minutes uh, with some frozen birds. Or our, uh, I'll be throwing those, I'll be planting them, and then see how he makes out finding them. It's a little bit warm today, but a bit of breeze, hopefully that'll help him.